So for my third look, I am giving you Disco Diva 1970s high fashion realness. My dress is made out of nude power illusion that are adorned with plastic bottle caps that are spray painted gold to match my hair color. My dress juxtaposes the style of my hair to give you that edgy but glamorous and punk rock at the same time kind of a look. And I'm living. You should be too. My grocery couture look is inspired by 60s mod fashion. It's just chips packaging cut out and sticked onto a rectangular dress using double-sided tape. I also added the black pants and matching black velvet gloves to give a sense of class and gold strappy heels to complement my gold necklace. The third look for my grocery ball is made out of katya, beans, mirrors, feathers, and plastic bags which you can actually see on a grocery store. I love it so much because it is very comfortable to use and I can walk easily on this outfit. It is a dress not just for comfy but definitely a high fashion one. It is also sentimental for me because it was made by my students from where I am teaching. My couture is inspired in the electrifying 3D ensembles of Voltage, the Irish Herpen Spring Couture 2013 collection that is amped with texture. We use paper plates and black fabrics for my couture that gives futuristic aesthetic. In episode 1, I'm a fire phoenix, but now I am still here giving you a wilder and ager aura of a phoenix as a grace the runway. And I am going to share with you the materials that I use for my creative outfit. First materials is old long sleeve, newspaper, brown paper bag, pieces of clothes, and lastly gold lace and beads. Hi guys, so yung look number 3 ko is dapat tansan talaga siya. Kasi hindi natuloy kasi wala kami mahanapan ng maraming tansan. Kaya plastic na lang ginamit namin. So una gumawa muna kami ng base na gawa sa sako. And yun, tsaka namin dinikit yung mga plastic na ginikit namin. Tsaka pinagtiklip-tiklip para maging bulaklak. So yun, kuya ko lang yung nakatulong ko doon. And happy naman ako sa kinalabasan. Yun lang. For my grocery eleganza look number 3, I named the wardrobe Montieu de Papier. The main medium of this wardrobe is paper bags, created a big piece on the bottom and intricate details on the chest and shoulders. The main inspiration of these wardrobes are architecture and origami in Japan. As aspiring designers, I created a layered scale technique on the sleeves to be able to move without breaking the design. First, he used a junk food plastic wrap because that's what we can literally see and buy at the grocery store. Then, he attached the junk foods wrapper to my jeans and embellished them with glitters to make them more appealing. On the top, 
he utilized an old leather jacket that he purchased from a thrift store. To complement the old leather jacket, he also added a white crystal stone into it. Uh, crop top siya na palibs tapos pa sa dibdib naman niya pa diamond tapos kinapalan namin para mas lalo kong tumaba kasi mapayat na ako dun sa cycling naman dun sa pambaba pa square siya na dinamihan para mas mukhang malaki para mag kagaya nung dun sa crop top sa pantaas ko yun lang This outfit is made of trash bag, yarn, and electric tape. So, ang ginawa ko sa top is ginawa kong turtleneck na crop top. Then, dito sa part na may pulso is may crumpul siya dito sa kamay. Then, sa pants naman is same rin. Ginawa, yung pants na ginawa ko, linagay ko lang siya na, linag, linagyan ko lang ng crumpul dito sa part na may ankle part dito sa bako For this look, I want to give you a high fashion vogue style. It is made up of Nescafe sachet that been part of our daily life. Gumamit din po kami ng piece of cloth para mag-slobing guide and pattern siya ng pagdidikitan ng Nescafe sachet. Gumamit din po kami ng glue stick para dumikit naman po siya. It is inspired by the hashtag para saan ka bumabangon that motivate us to move forward every day. This look is a last minute option as my first plan didn't work well. I've changed it last minute before I film my runway. My hair and my outfit is inspired by the icon Cruella. She's known for her black and white hair and her big outfits. My coat and the trail was made of rice sack, colored with black, and my pants made of plastic cover. The materials that I use in making my couture are plastic spoon, cardboard, Tansen of different brand of soft drinks and empty pack of Tetra Juice. The overall concept of my couture is all about red dragon. As you can see, I use red coat and red pants and the gold spoon represent the scale. I use also hot as a props in my runway. For my grocery elegance outfit, it was made of aluminum foil wrapper. I crumpled it first, then I used stick glue to put on my reused outfit last advanced level entry, which is the construction worker uniform. I also put some Platops chocolate wrapper to additional design to my outfit to make it more creative. I formed it flower shape, then I put some pearls, as you can see in my video. So my third runway kickoff look is made up of paper bags and plastic bag. So the plastic bag that I use is for my base and the paper bag that I use is for the design outside. So yung plastic bag is ginawa ko siyang base para may mapagfitan yung gagawin kong design in the outside. So yung kinalabasan is like a dress. There you have it, online world. Now, whose look is your favorite? Well, thank you for tuning, and we'll see you tomorrow on the 10th episode, only on our official page of Battle to the Top. Once again, I am Leona Anderson, your Battle to the Top online edition to your Reina Nantahanan, and of course, your one and only presenter. Have a good night!